video. Illegal immigrants given social security cards prior to election. A research report shows that illegal immigrants in Chicago are being provided with social security cards prior to the 2024 presidential election. The Wall Street Apes social media account shared a video of the resurfaced CBS clip, CBS report on X, stating illegal migrants in Chicago are receiving social security cards. The 2024 presidential election will be the most rigged election in history. In the video, a CBS News reporter can be heard saying that 1% of over 26,000 illegal immigrants in Chicago had received social security, cards, and work permits. It's not clear how many applications have been submitted through as of December 29th. The United States Citizenship and Immigration Services had only processed work permits and temporarily protected status. Application for 1,480 Chicago new arrivals. That's according to city data by, that's according to city data obtained by CBS2. Once those applications are processed, they also need to be approved. Sources tell us that only 284 asylum seekers in Chicago have gotten work permits. 279 have received their social security card. This is Speaker of the House Mike Johnson. If just a small percentage, a fraction of a fraction of all those illegals that Joe Biden has brought in here to vote, if they do vote, it wouldn't just change one race. It might potentially change all of our races. Representative Brian Steele, he said this, Every illegal vote cancels out the vote of a legal citizen, of a legal American citizen. The resurfaced report of illegal immigrants receiving social security charge comes as the House of Representatives asked the Safeguard American Voters Voter Eligibility Act save on Wednesday to prevent illegal immigrants from voting in federal elections by requiring proof of U.S. citizenship. So I guess Democrats could tell us that it's illegal for an illegal to vote in a federal election. But we have 1,480 illegal immigrants getting Social Security cards, 279 more getting a Social Security card, 284 getting work permits, another 300,000 illegal immigrants getting temporary amnesty. That means they're eligible for a work permit or a social security card as well. President Joe Biden's administration recently announced that roughly 309,000 illegal immigrants from Haiti will be granted temporary amnesty in the United States. They're attempting to give us a little bit of reassurance by saying that by saying that the applications, once they're processed, they have to be approved as well. But honestly, do you think these people in charge, do you think that they wouldn't instantaneously grant them citizenship or whatever else they need? They will approve them. And here's another thing I want to bring up. I've brought this up in previous videos and I'll do it again. Instead of illegal invaders coming to this country and like having democratic lawmakers side with the illegal foreigners, and make it so that they can come here for an easier life. In the process of doing that, the the actual American citizens, the ones who are homeless, the ones who are struggling, they feel like second-class citizens living in this country because the Democrats and the President of the United States, the supposed President of the United States, is too busy helping foreigners who do not belong here. Instead of doing that, why don't the illegals who want to come here, why don't they you know, team up with Democratic lawmakers so they can make laws to make their own countries safer so that they can live in there. Like, it's no secret we give a crap load of money to foreign countries. If that money could somehow be monitored to make sure it's going to a good use, let's say, for example, you're a country that has gang members in it. Like, some of the money that was donated to said country, hopefully that money will be used to get those gang members off the streets. And like, let's say you're a country with poor water, okay? Flint, Michigan has poor water too. I don't know. Oops. But let's say you're a country with bad water, water that's not drinkable. Your country can team up with democratic leadership and find out a way we can make the water cleaner. 
Just find ways where you can make your country more livable, more comfortable, and most importantly, make your country a country in which you would not want to leave to to, to come somewhere else, excuse me. I'm not sure how these illegal migrants got the social security cards anyway. I'm assuming they went down to the DMV, but if that's the case, those DMV employees should immediately be fired. Honestly, the blue states are just screwing up America as an entirety. Would it be fair to enact a law that bars illegal immigrants if they do not have the required paperwork from using public buildings slash services? Look, all I know is that we, all 50 states of us, are the United States of America. And it's our sole responsibility to take care of the citizens of the United States of America. We have no obligation to take care of the rest of the third world. Democrats and or Republicans want to talk to leaders of third world countries to make it possible so that, so that they can increase the standard of life in that country so they don't feel pressured for whatever means necessary, whatever reasons necessary, persecution, lack of education, lack of economic opportunities. Democrats and Republicans want to talk to leaders of third world countries about those opportunities or lack thereof opportunities and if they can come together with a solution to make that country or all of those third world countries in which uh, the migrants are coming from flooding here make that all like null and void so they don't have to flee persecution they can get a, a good college education and a good job of the case I mean if they want to make that happen they could probably make that happen again i'm not a politician i certainly don't have any connections i certainly can't pull any strings but we all have a country of origin and if you had to flee your country of origin in order to have a better life somewhere else, not only is that unfair to you because your country isn't up to standard, it's also unfair to us because you know how it is. An illegal, an illegal immigrant comes into the United States effectively stealing a job from an American citizen. And the more of them come in, the more of them are potentially stealing jobs from American citizens. And like this article mentioned, potentially stealing votes. And if they come here fleeing persecution, they're going to get on welfare and all the social benefit programs. Because supposedly they're fleeing persecution and they're hiding. And so you can't, you know, go out and work when you're hiding. So they do put them on well, welfare programs, if that's the case. Mayor Johnson of Chicago, I demand that you rescind all of those social security cards, make them null and void. Same with all those work visas. We are the United States of America, not the global states of America. This is gonna be the third time I said this, but we do not hold an allegiance to help foreign invaders who come in here seeking to bring all sorts of harm to American citizens.